I have to give a shout out to Ash and Lewis for sending me this story. And to be honest, I have forgot all about this. I'm going to be completely honest. And you would think I wouldn't because I tend to remember things very well, especially if they're recent. But this happened last year. But this is an update. So if you don't know who this guy is, this is Caesar Sayoc. He was a staunch or is probably still currently a staunch Trump supporter. And last year, this guy sent pipe bombs to various Democratic figures, including former President Barack Obama and a few other people. Now, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, the pipe bombs were not live. I don't think they were live. They were just empty shells like nothing. It wouldn't have exploded. But, you know, with something like that, you got to take a threat like that seriously. So the update has come down for this man and he has been sentenced to 20 years in prison the thing that shocked me is the fact that he got 20 years in prison because who would have thought he would have got that much time because i think when i did the video originally of course i have my subscribers they'll leave comments saying he's not going to get that many years or he's not going to get as much as he should but he got 20 years in prison and i'm actually shocked that he got that many i'm shocked he got more than 10 hell more than five but the thing that really got me about this whole thing and doesn't surprise me is he said that Trump is the reason why he did it. I swear these individuals just will not take accountability for their actions. Is Trump emboldening his base? Yes, he is. But at the end of the day, Trump is not coming to your house. He's not forcing you out of doing whatever it is that you're doing. He's not putting a gun to your head. And telling you to do these things at the end of the day, you are responsible for your actions, no matter who is sitting in that Oval Office. Because do you think Trump is actually going to vouch for you? No. This guy did this on his own cognizance. He has no one to blame but himself. And the fact that he even threw Trump in there and tried to put the blame on Trump as the reason why he did it is even more reason why 45 is not going to try to vouch for him to get either a sentence reduction or to get a pardon. So I hope he enjoys the 20 years that he will be spending for uh, behind bars. Uh, it is what it is. They said this guy was uh, that he pleaded guilty. He's 57, so he'll be out when he turns 77. So he'll still be fairly, you know, fresh, I guess. It says, in a federal court in Manhattan to four sets of charges, 65 counts total for sending 16 packages containing explosive materials and glass shards to liberal politicians and others who support liberal policies, who includes Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and Robert De Niro. They said, uh, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden were also those who were sent sent pipe bombs as well. And I think the fact that those three that I mentioned at the end are currently running for uh, president actually also aided in to why he got those 20 years. He probably figured, oh, if you plead guilty, you'll get the plea deal. It sounds to me like they gave him the uh, they threw the whole book. He just better be very lucky that none of those pipe bombs went off. But like I said, I don't think they were live. I think they were just like just a regular like a uh, just a regular pipe bomb threat. But at the end of the day, you don't take anything like that lightly whatsoever. Pipe bomb explode. That's it. So I hope he enjoys his 20 years behind bars, that three hots in a cot and gin pop, because that's most likely where he's going to end up at. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one. Oh, and isn't it interesting? Caesar Sayoc, that name, Caesar, another one of those Latinos for Trump individuals. Mm, mm, mm. Maybe it's a good thing that he's going to jail instead of back across the border.